हे वॉट्स गोइंग ऑन गाय स्तन बाय फॉर सिंपल स्निपेट्स एंड वेलकम बैक टू अनदर वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल अंडर ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम्स स्पेशली द पेज रिप्लेसमेंट अलगोरिदम्स सो इन दिस प्ले लिस्ट वीव कवर्ड ऑल द थ्री डिफरेंट पेज रिप्लेसमेंट अलगोरिदम्स अर्लियर इन द वीडियोज दैट इज फर्स्ट इन फर्स्ट आउट ऑप्टिमल एंड एल आर यू सो आई हैव इंडिविजुअल वीडियोज ऑन द चैनल सो आई गॉट अ क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम वन ऑफ माई सब्सक्राइबर एज टू विच ऑफ द पेज रिप्लेसमेंट अलगोरिदम इज द बेस्ट एंड फॉर दैट ही वॉज सजेस्टिंग मी टू कंपेयर द थ्री डिफरेंट algorithms using one single question and i thought that's a very good idea so in this video tutorial what we are going to do is we are going to be solving one single numerical using three different algorithms and we are going to be comparing which one is the best and for that you need to have a very good understanding of first in first out optimal and lru individually so if you already know all these algorithms then this video is going to be very easy if not you can check out the individual videos in this playlist i'll drop the link in the video description and with that being said let's start off with this numerical and sorry for my voice if it is a bit weird i have bad cold but then i had to make this video because this is a very important video so anyways let's start off with the question let me just read it out so as you can see on the screen this is question number 1 and we're going to be solving it three times using three different algorithms now this question is going to remain the same so let me just read the question once so let's have a reference string a b c d and so on and so forth till d and the size of the frame be 4 so this a b c d is basically the page names so page a page b page c and then this reference string is the order in which the cpu is asking for these pages so this is something you already must be knowing if you've seen the previous video and the frame size is 4 which means that we have four frames in the memory so whatever algorithm we have to apply we have to apply in those four free frames and what we have to do is we have to calculate page faults we have to calculate page fault probability and page fault percentage so if to use fifo optimal lru all of them on this one single question so that we can then compare which one is the best and of course the best algorithm is going to be the one wherein the number of page faults is the least so the page fault probability will also be the least and page fault percentage will also be the least right so let's start off with fifo and as you can see on the screen i have already written the reference string at every step so we'll start off with fifo and we'll start off with the first step so starting off since there are no pages in the frame you can see there are absolutely no pages in step number 1 this means that a page fault is going to happen and page a is going to be loaded so i'm just going to mark x over here for a page fault moving on to step number 2 a is already going to be there from previous step but b is requested and b is not there in these three frames so b is going to be loaded and this is again a page fault similar with c and d the same thing is going to happen so a and b is already going to be there c is going to be loaded and this is a page fault over here a b and c is going to be there d is going to be loaded and this is a page fault so initially for the first four times four page faults happened because initially there was nothing in the frames so all the pages were loaded so moving on to step number 5 now the cpu is wanting page c c is already there in the frame you can see over here so it's not going to be a page fault situation i'm just going to write these values as it is a b c d and this is not a page fault i'll just mark tick again for a d b that is this step this step and this step these pages are already there in the frames right so a is there d is there and b is there so these three are going to be no page fault scenarios so i'm just going to write as it is so a b c d a b c d and a b c d okay so moving on to the next step now a situation of page fault is happening and a situation where one page has to get out from these frames and page e has to be loaded right so cpu is wanting page e over here so one of the page from a or b or c or d has to be removed from these frames and replaced with e so according to fifo that page has to be removed which has come in first so if you observe from the timeline or from the step number 1 a was the page that was loaded first right so a has to be removed so instead of a i'm going to write e and rest of them are going to be as it is so b c d is going to be as it is and since a had to be removed and e had to be brought from the secondary memory into the main memory this is a page fault right so i'm going to mark x over here so now next step cpu is wanting b b is already there so this is not a page fault scenario so i'm just going to write e b c d exactly as it is from the previous step moving ahead a is wanted but we don't have a in the frames now because we replaced a over here and we replaced it by e so now one page has to be removed from these four pages and according to fifo the next page that was loaded after a was b right so in step number 1 we loaded a and in step number 2 you can see we loaded b over here and that b is still there correct 
So this time we are going to be replacing B and instead of B, I'm going to write A and rest of them are going to be as it is. So E, C, D, this is going to be a page fault scenario. So this is how the FIFO algorithm works. It's pretty basic. Let's move ahead. Now CPU wants B, but we just replaced B in the previous step. So again, we have to remove one page from these four frames and load in B instead of that. So this is a page fault scenario. Now using the FIFO algorithm after B, we know that C was loaded in step number three and C is still there, right? So this time C is going to be removed and B is going to be loaded over here. E, A and D remain as it is. And this is the page fault. Moving to the second last step, C is required, but we just replaced C in the last step. So we have to remove one of the page and replace C. According to FIFO, after C, we had loaded D and D is still there in the frames. So we have to remove D and instead of D, I'm going to write C over here. Again, a page fault scenario. The rest of the pages are going to be as it is. So E, A, B and coming to the last step, we want D in the frames, but D is not there because we just replaced it in the previous step. So again, we have to remove one of the page. So this is a page fault. Now, if you observe, we've already replaced A, B and C and D. So after these values, the next page that came in, which was new was over here, which is E, right? And E is still there in the frames. So now we have to replace E. So instead of E, I'm going to write D and rest of the values are going to be as it is. So A, B, C, and this is a page fault scenario. Okay. So this was the entire numerical on FIFO. So let's calculate the number of page faults. The number of X marks are the number of page faults. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So page faults is nine. Page fault probability will be the number of page faults divided by the total number of iterations. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So 9 by 14, which is going to give you 0.642. Okay. Similarly, the page fault percent is going to be given by number of page faults divided by the total number of iterations that is 14. And we just have to multiply it by 100. So this is basic percentage formula. So this would give you 64.2%. Okay. So let me just write it nicely. Okay. So we've solved this numerical using the FIFO algorithm. Let's move to the second one, which is optimal algorithm. So initially for the four steps, we know that page fault is going to happen because there is nothing in the frames. So initially all the pages are going to be loaded. So I'm just going to write them down a, B, C and D over here. And the rest of the pages are going to be there. So this is a, this is a, B and this is A, B, C. So first four page faults are definitely going to happen in this optimal page replacement algorithm as well. And now let's move ahead. So moving ahead, the CPU wants page C. Page C is already there. So no page fault over here. I'm just going to write it as it is. So A, B, C, D. Similarly for A, D, B, that is these three steps, things are going to be as it is and no page faults are going to happen. So I'm just going to write it as it is. So A, B, C, D. Again, A, B, C, D and A, B, C, D. So now moving on to the next step is where the optimal algorithm is going to be used. So now CPU wants E, but we don't have E in the memory and we don't even have any space. So we have to remove one page and apply optimal page replacement, right? So in optimal page replacement, the concept is that the algorithm looks ahead in time and sees which page is not going to be needed for the longest amount of time and replaces that page. Okay. So starting from this step, we see that, okay, in the next step, B is going to be needed. So we'll not replace B. Then we see that after B, A is going to be needed. So we are not going to be replacing A. Then we see C is going to be needed some, some point over here. And lastly, we see that D is the page, which is going to be needed the last in future. So that is why we replace D with E and this is a page fault and remaining things are going to be as it is. So ABC is going to be as it is. So this is that optimal page replacement algorithm logic. That is that page is replaced, which is not going to be required for the longest amount of time in future. So I hope you got the optimal page replacement. Now let's move ahead. So in this step B is required and we can see that B is already there in the memory. So I'm just going to write it A, B, C, E as it is. And this is not a page fault. Moving ahead, A is required. You can see A is already there in the memory. So A, B, C, E, no page fault. Moving ahead, B is required. B is already there. Again, no page fault. So A, B, C, E, C is required in this step. C is already there in memory. So A, B, C, E, no page fault. And lastly, D is required. So over here, D is not there in memory. So you can replace any of the page because after D there is no steps, right? So there is nothing to look forward into by the optimal algorithm. 
so any of the page can be removed i'm just going to replace a instead of a i'm going to write d and then b c and e are going to be as it is and this is a last page fault so as you can see number of page faults in optimal was very less let's count them down so 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 page faults compared to 9 page faults in fifo which means optimal is definitely better than fifo talking about the page fault probability it is 6 by 14 which is going to be 0 0.428 so I'm just going to write it again and the page fault percentage is going to be 6 that is number of page faults divided by 14 into 100 basic percentage formula which is going to give you 42.8%. So if you observe these values compared to the FIFO values you can see that optimal is definitely better than FIFO because number of page faults is less so all the remaining values are also going to be lower compared to FIFO and that is what we want right. So optimal is definitely better than FIFO. Let's move to the last algorithm that is LRU and solve this numerical again. So starting off again for the first four times page fault is going to happen. So I'm just going to mark X over here and load all the values. Okay. So for the first four times, definitely page fault is going to happen because there was nothing in the frames. So initially page fault happens. So moving to the step number five, C is required. C is already there. So for C, A, D, B, that is these four steps, no page fault is going to happen because all these pages are already there in the memory. So I'm just going to write it as it is. Okay. So now moving on to the next step, you can see that E is requested by the CPU and E is not there in the memory. So we have to remove one of the page and replace it with E. So this is where the least recently used algorithm has to be applied. Now, according to the least recently used algorithm, that is LRU algorithm, we have to look behind in the timeline that is behind in the steps and see which was the page that was not used recently. So if that sounds confusing, let me just put it again. So we are at step E wherein E is requested. So using LRU, we have to look back in the steps and find out which was the page which was not accessed recently. Okay. So if you look back in this step, B was accessed. So we cannot replace B. If you go one more step back, you can see that D was accessed. So we cannot replace D. If you go a little bit back, you can see that A was accessed. So you cannot replace A. And lastly, out of the four, C is the page which was accessed over here. So this means C is the page which was least recently used. Correct. So that means C was the page which was used very long back compared to A, D and B. So that is the reason why we are going to be replacing C and instead of C that is this place we are going to add E and rest of them are going to be as it is. So A, B and D are going to be as it is and this is a page fault. So I hope LRU is clear and the idea of LRU wherein we have to look back in the timeline is very clear now. So in optimal we saw in the future, but in LRU we have to look back in the past and find out that page which was least recently used, which means that we have to look at the page which was not referenced recently. Okay. Compared to other pages. So let's move ahead. Now we are at this step. So B is requested. B is already there in the frames. So I'm just going to write all these values as it is. So A, B, E and D, not a page fault. Next step A is requested A is already there. So A, B, E and D not a page fault. Next step B is requested B is there in the memory. So A, B, E and D not a page fault. Now over here C is requested. So C is not there in the memory, right? So you have to again apply LRU algorithm. So again, check the timeline and you have to check the past. So we are at this step and if you see just one step behind B was just accessed. So we cannot replace B before that A was accessed. So we cannot replace A before that B was accessed, but this doesn't count because B was recently accessed just one step back. So again, checking for E. So B, A and E have been recently accessed. But if you see D, D is the least recently accessed, right? Compared to E, B and A, right? So we have four options which we can replace from, right? So in those four options, D is the least recently used, which means it was not referenced recently compared to other pages. So we have to replace D and instead of D we have to add C and rest of them are going to be as it is. So A, B and E are going to be as it is. And this is a page fault. And lastly, again, we have D, but we just replace D over here. So this is going to be a page fault. And again, we have to look back in time to find out which page to replace, right? So I'm going to see at this step here. We wanted C that is here. We referenced C so we cannot remove C before that we referenced B so we cannot remove B before that we had A. So C, B and A cannot be removed. C, B and A, which means that E is the page which was least recently referenced. 
that is e is the page which is not recently used compared to a b and c so you have to replace e and add d and rest of them are going to be as it is so a b and c and this is how lru algorithm works so now let's calculate the number of page faults for lru so 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 so 7 page faults so lru is definitely better than fifo but not as good as optimal right so calculating the page fault probability which is 7 that is number of page faults divided by total number of accesses so this is going to be 0 0.5 and page fault percentage is going to be 7 by 14 that is number of page faults upon total number of accesses into 100 which is going to be 50 percent okay so these are the three different algorithms used on the same numerical and and after using these three algorithms on the same numerical we found out that optimal is the best LRU is second best and FIFO is the worst because the number of page faults in optimal algorithm is the least then you can see LRU does better than FIFO and FIFO is the worst so I hope now you have a very good idea about the difference between the three different page replacement algorithms and which one is better and how to go about solving the same numerical using three different algorithms so that's it for this video guys if you like this video please give it a thumbs up share it with your friends if you haven't yet subscribed make sure you subscribe on this channel so that you get notified whenever I upload a new video. And thanks for watching guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.